Put on a helmet, Dennis. <laughs> First down, Henry Burris tosses off to Siobhan Walker. And Walker straightened up by Fred Bennett on the corner. And he'll lose a couple there. Henry Burris, by the way, making his 194th start today. Moving him past Danny McManus in the third spot all time on that list. He's about 75 yards passing away from moving by Danny Mack into third place on the all-time yards list. When you look at what Henry Burris has done over the course of his career, and you kind of think, what if? I mean, this was a guy who, by the end of his third year, had only made two career starts. Also spent a few years in the, the National Football League along the way. He'd be much higher on that list otherwise. Oh, unexpected snap for Burris. He's under pressure, has some time, has a man up the field, but the pass is incomplete. As he was looking for Dobson Collins, he's out of bounds. It'll bring up third down. Henry Burris, by the way, the last Calgary Stampeder starting quarterback in the game in Ottawa prior to today. And here a little bit of trouble getting that snap from his center, John Gott. A little bit of a desperation throw there looking for Collins along the sidelines. Back to back two and outs by Ottawa. And Mars sends a high kick to Cedric Cunningham inside the 20 yard line. Flags are down and Cunningham gets out to the 31 yard line. And John Delahunt down to help make the special teams tackle for Ottawa. And we'll wait for the call from referee Andre Prue. And it will move Calgary back. While the ball was in the air, illegal block, Calgary number 25, at the distance from, from the point of foul, first down. So the Stamps will start at their nine with last year's most outstanding player, John Cornish, back in the lineup. And the Stamps up by one. And John Cornish, despite missing a stretch of games to start this year, very much in striking distance of Sean Millington. Perhaps at number two all time among Canadian rushing leaders. About 800 yards to go for a guy who's averaged over 100 a game last season. And here he is on first down, diving out across the 10 to the 13. So it has been a running attack by committee for Calgary this year. Well, it certainly has. Six different rushing leaders in seven games. Cornish week one. Matt Walter was the next to go. He went down. Jock Sanders plugged into the lineup. Martel Mallett went for over 100 in his lone game. Rock Cote was the rushing leader one game. Last week, it was Hugh Charles filling the void until number nine is ready to return. Picked up four there at second and six. And the play fake this time to Cornish, and they throw it to West, but he gets cut down by the safety, Eric Fraser. A gain of eight will be a first down for Calgary. Quick hitter there to Joe West at Nick Lewis. Is the guy trying to free him up for that quick slant. Eric Fraser from his free safety spot did a nice job recognizing coming downhill to make a play on that one. A little bit of chirping between former teammates after the play. Cornish now in motion way out to the wide side of the field. And the pass almost intercepted. Flags are down. As Jermaine Robinson stepped in front of that pass and almost had a touchdown. And the flag is against Ottawa. Illegal contact on the receiver. Ottawa number 32. 10 yard penalty. First down. And they're calling Robinson for the contact. Right, we'll take a closer look here. Robinson matched up on Joe West. Two big bodies, a little grab there. The right, right hand preventing West from fighting through to that football. So 
So it gives Calgary a first down at the Stampeder 31. Had a low snap to Mitchell, gives it off to Cornish. And Cornish gets out across the 35 to the 36. You mentioned, Dwayne, that Cornish is moving up on Sean Millington for second and may catch Normie Kwong someday for first spot for rushing yards by a Canadian. Now, the rules were different when Normie Kwong was playing for the Edmonton Eskimos in the 50s. In those days, you weren't down until you were down. Kwong could pick up three running, two stumbling, and another three crawling. You were basically not down until they put a stake in your heart. <laughs> A much different and mercifully changed yes. game since then. God bless player safety. Now Mitchell swings it up to Cornish, and Cornish makes the catch and will be short of a first down as Jasper Simmons ran with him and made the stop. It'll be third and two for the Stampeders, who will be forced to punt. Stampeders are going to get Cornish out into the flat here, but you'll see Simmons 31 follows him right from the get-go in that formation. Pretty good job from a trail position to make that tackle right away. So now Jamal Smith stands deep for Ottawa inside his 30-yard line. Ottawa's offense has spent very little time on the field so far in the game, and here's Smith from the 20. Finds a seam and gets out to the 30-yard line. Siobhan Walker Going back to work for Ottawa against the CFL's number one run defense. Back to the nation's capital in a moment. At 10.30 a.m. Eastern, 7.30 Pacific, across the networks of TSN. First down, Ottawa. And Henry Burris fakes it. Javon Walker. Burris is off and running. Has some room and dives across the 40. A first down to the 43-yard line. Well, that was Ottawa Henry Burris doing his impression of Calgary Henry Burris. Getting out on the run a little bit here. There it is. Charleston Hughes bites on that run fake. Leaving Henry Burris lots of room to the outside with no contain. 47 offensive possessions for Ottawa at home this year. Just one touchdown, none in 44 with Burris at the control. I believe, as Kate McKenna said in the pregame show, last Ottawa quarterback to throw a, ta a touchdown pass in this city was Kerry Joseph. And now Burris throws, and the pass is incomplete. Looking there to Wallace Miles. That'll bring up second down. So the question becomes, you know, in Ottawa, there's a two-track process here. They're, they're trying to win games, and they're still looking at being in playoff contention with the East being the way it is. But they're also trying to build long-term. At what point... Does 39-year-old Henry Burris have to maybe step back a bit or be moved back a bit and allow Thomas DeMarco or someone else to become the quarterback long-term? Well, I think as far as both tracks go right now, I think Henry Burris is still the best option at quarterback for this team. Pump fake by Burris, stepping up, gets away, and Burris still with some room. Throws it underneath, the pass is caught by Khalil Payton, and Payton at the midfield stripe has an Ottawa first down. And here you see another demonstration of the fact that Henry Burris, regardless Ruling of age, the field is a completed pass. First down. Still has plenty left here. Nice escape ability to keep a play alive and turn nothing into a first down for the Ottawa Red Blacks. John Hopnagel had the challenge flag in his hand, but elected not to toss it. And here's Walker, back on first down, spins across the 50. As he's brought down by Calgary's Brandon Smith. Ottawa is the toughest team in the league to run on. The most successful back so far this year, Andrew Harris of BC, had 70 yards rushing. And the rushing attack is something that this Ottawa team really needs to get going. Siobhan Walker, to me, one of their most dangerous weapons with his speed. And frankly, one of their more experienced guys now in his third Canadian Football League season. They need to get that attack on track as you see what Henry Burris is able to do with the bootleg play action zone read type game. And here's Walker again. He's got a first down and more down to the 40 yard line. Gain of nine on the play for Ottawa. Ranked last in the league in rushing yards coming in 
half as many rushing yards as Edmondson entering this week. Well, I mean, a, certainly a factor of that is, is being behind in ball games, but, but the fact remains, as I said, that this needs to be, become a bigger part of what they do early in ball games, a bigger part of their offensive identity. Under six to go in the opening half. And Ottawa has the ball just outside the Calgary 40. And here's Walker again with a first down carry, but this time there is nothing doing on the play. Sean Lemon was in early, along with DeMonte Bolden. It'll be a loss of three. And yet another Calgary connection for this Ottawa team is their offensive coordinator, Mike Gibson. Gibson on the left last season was a member of Calgary's offensive coaching staff. Veteran coach in the CFL has also spent time in Saskatchewan and Hamilton. Well, certainly that Calgary influence, you know, will contribute to his belief in the run game. This is Ottawa's deepest penetration, and now with the wrong alignment, Henry Burris time calls out. timeout. Ottawa. With 4.54 to go in the opening half. Well, you think about the number of times, and certainly the Edmondson game last week was one that Ottawa should have had. Week one, Ottawa probably should have had a win. There's been a number of close calls, but well, learning to finish games and win them is a skill as well, right? Well, it, it really is, and for a young team, you, you can absolutely see where the, the experience is lacking on this Ottawa roster is in that, that ability to finish out when it gets down to, to crunch time mentioned week one where they had that fantastic start against Winnipeg and then tailed off as the game went on and last week they led that game for 57 minutes and tough way tough way to let it slide away second and long five receivers to the wide side of the field and DeMonte Bolden has a sack on Henry Burris drops him for a loss of 17 yards all the way back to the Ottawa 50. Well, that's an absolutely massive play by DeMonte Bolden, who's into that lineup in place of the injured Micah Johnson at defensive tackle. And Henry Burris is just trying to buy time. But Bolden comes free as he loops around, man, just to get enough of that jersey to hold on, hold the quarterback down for a huge loss of, loss of field position there. Very significant. Mark has a loss of 15. Maher sends that kick in front of Cedric Cunningham down to the 16-yard line. And a flag comes down late again. Yeah. And Definitely. this may be a late hit against Ottawa. And again, a really ill-timed penalty. We've got an official down the sidelines. That's Kerry Anderson, the back judge. And what's well, been a tough year for officials in the CFL who have been Getting knocked down all over the place. You see Kerry Anderson in the right corner of your screen. I heard Andre Pru say it's late in the first half. Go for treatment. So Kerry Anderson is up. And now we'll get the call. <laughs> Oof. Well, Anderson doesn't want to go. He's going to stay. Well, these guys have proven themselves to be warriors out there this season, but they may be lobbying for a little bit of hazard pay. Yeah. The next contract. Or equipment. <laughs> so here's the call from Proof. During the return, illegal block. Calgary at the distance from the 19-yard line. First down, Calgary. No, no late hit, which is something of a surprise, and Calgary's not pleased with that non-call. And now the illegal block moves Calgary down to its own nine-yard line. And here you'll see the, the hit that comes after Cunningham is out of bounds. There he's already on the sideline, and here comes a hit. Both feet clearly out of bounds. Bottinger hit him. Ottawa catches a break there.
Go Levi Mitchell. Play fake to John Cornish. Looking over the top for the fullback, Rob Cote. It's over his head. And the pass falls incomplete. Back on the coverage for Ottawa was Jarrell Gavin, along with the safety, Eric Fraser. Yeah, a little bit of misdirection here from the Calgary Stampeders. They're going to try and create a toss look with all the motion going here and then sneak Rob Cote on the bootleg here. Up on a corner type route. But Gavins and Eric Fraser get themselves well positioned to cover that up. Good awareness in that secondary. Second down, Calgary. Here comes the rush from Sholigan. Mitchell gets away. A flag is down. And Mitchell steps out of bounds flag, flag, flag. at the 15 yard line. Actually, the markup at the 13. And it was a flag well up the field of the 25 yard line. I have to see what it is first. And Calgary's indicating it's against Ottawa. So a second and 10 penalty. As Rick Campbell looks on. Illegal contact on the receiver. Ottawa number 24. 10 yard penalty. First down. Gavin's with the penalty, and so a first down for Calgary. That's a tough one. Yeah, let him off the hook after they caught that break to get them backed up. And that one's going to move the chains, give the Stampeders a little bit of breathing room. Six, deep in their own end. Six penalties for 52 yards by Ottawa here in the first half. From the 19, another low snap to Mitchell. Gives it off to Cornish, who spins off a tackle, and Cornish still going. Has a pickup of 12 yards up to the 31. And we've reached the three-minute warning in Ottawa with Calgary up by a point. John Cornish is back for the Stampeders. Locked in a battle with Ottawa.